hello guys and welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new to my channel hello and welcome to my channel my name is summer so recently a lot of you would have seen the pictures and videos and everything all over social media about uh, the wedding of uh, rita dominics you know she's a nigerian actress she's been active for decades and she's actually an amazing actress she's also a film producer and she's a co-founder of a company and she got married recently at age of 47 or something like that you know there are some things that i have seen that i feel like it's embarrassing you know it's embarrassing because you would think that by 2022 we kind of understand life better at this point so it seems like some people still not do not still get it or it may be conscious or unconsciously that people still do not get it i want to talk about the area of uh, people saying oh finally at the age of 47 why finally why even address it like um, a milestone that she has failed to meet all her life finally she has met up why treat it like you know it's something she has been lacking so finally she has arrived i think there's another way to say it marriage is a beautiful thing right but the idea of always treating it as if until a woman gets married every other thing she was was nothing that area is where there's this more pomba in that area there is so much this girl has achieved. I say girl. People complain that I call people girl a lot. I call myself girl too and I'm almost 45. But I think it's something I'm just used to saying that. But anyways, this lady, there's so much she has done with her life before now. I really want us to address that. You see, like, for example, if a child is born and they were supposed to crawl, they didn't crawl. They were supposed to talk, they didn't talk. Or they didn't walk on time. You can be worried. It's okay to worry and say, oh my goodness, they have not met that milestone. They are such essential milestones that that child needs to be an independent adult later in life, right? There are important things to acquire to be able to make the child's existence easy, to be able to communicate and express your needs, right? So we understand that area of uh, trying to acquire these uh, life skills and hit these milestones. But the area of marriage, especially in our African culture, we treat it as if, if a woman is not yet married, she never be anybody yet. That's the area that I really want to use the opportunity to address or for us to address because me, I'm the one on the video, right? But you guys can always contribute your opinions in the comment section. So, is marrying early a good thing? Of course, to marry early and start your life or whatever. I, for example, at the age of uh, 21, 22, I've always said it. You found the right person at the right time and you're able to settle down early and that is what you want. Because don't forget, not everybody wants to marry early. Not everybody. There are people like that. They'll be like, no, I don't want to marry before so I want to go travel the world, do this, and I want to have children. Some people choose to. Some people choose to marry early. Some people marry early, they don't even, they are not able to conceive. You understand? Another area where people always say, hey, what do you mean? The Bible says, go ye and multiply. How can a woman not be married? I ask that question. That's sometimes when our people, the way some people reason. God created only two people and told these two people to go and multiply. Right? And today, as we are speaking, our world contains billions of people. Do you think that God is still telling you to go and multiply? When there was a, something he told two people to go and multiply because there were only two of them. Are you now telling me that you think that with the billions of people in the world, God is commanding you to go and multiply? I really hope people can process that. And at the same time, this mentality of uh, she never married now, uh, she never born, that puts a lot of pressure in our women is why some women have married wrong. Because what would the world say? They will say she never married. Yes, yeah. You never see husband. You never see you know see you know, you know see husband. A woman can be the best surgeon in the world, can be the best pilot in the world, can be a great actress. Whatever. People will say, eh, she goes school, oh, ah, she go even get money, oh, ah. But no marry. So it's like she's she's okay, but like she's not okay enough because she has not married. There are people that may have married before this Rita Dominic now, that their marriage have ended. Or there are people that may have married before her, her age mates, as they would say, that they have not conceived. There are people that have married before her that may be regretting their marriages. So all these things that make our girls to feel unfulfilled or make it look as they're not just fulfilled human beings until they marry. 
That is the mentality I'm really trying to address here. You understand? It's the mentality. Somebody left, there was a comment I saw, and this comment said, her latter years are better than her, are better than her, whatever, early years. There was something like that, the phrase. Does it mean that now that she's married, that now she's better? So whatever she has been doing before now, in her early years, it's like it don't count. It's like they don't count. Do you know why this topic is important? This is what is pushing our girls to manage some guys. You will see a guy that is in the relationship, they're already just caught, you know. He's abusive, he's this, he's that. And they'll be like, what should I go do now? All oh, my mates don't marry. They just want to marry because look at me now. I don't wish to marry, I never marry. What would the world say? This is why some women have ended up in marriages that they regret. Let me marry, make so that I can be seen as someone that's achieved a milestone. Unlike the milestone of a child growing up, right? The required skills that they need to acquire, crawl, walk, speak, and all those things. Marriage is not a, it's not a skill to be acquired. You don't need marriage to have a life. So even we hear that sentence now, they don't go digest them. I'm not saying marriage is not a good thing. Marriage is a good thing. But I'm, what I'm saying is that there is a life even without a marriage. There is a life even without being married. Somebody can not be, somebody can, may not be married, but they can have an amazing life. Look at people like Mary Slessor, dedicated her life to not being married. Some people may see Mary Slessor as not fulfilled, but to her, she is fulfilled because that is what she wanted to do with her life. I hope I'm making sense. There are a lot of people that have decided, no, I don't want to be married. I just, but I want children. And they keep adopting children and caring for children that have been abandoned. And they feel fulfilled because they are doing what their heart desires to do. But our culture, we see them like, she don't marry. You get my point? She don't marry. You know, it's a beautiful news that Rita Dominic is beautiful. But let's not say but. She married at 47. Take that out. It happened when it happened. She did it when she did it. That is her life story. That is her life story. Everybody must not do it determined another person did it. You understand? And this idea, this idea of making our women feel like they are nobodies because they are not yet married, that mentality needs to change. It needs to change. That is why some of our girls have entered into marriages that they didn't want. They just want to do it so that they have achieved that milestone. And then they stay in that marriage and want to stay there because society have said that marriage defines a woman. Because society have said that without marriage, you are nobody. I was surprised that I found out that Dangote is a divorcee. There is no woman. As far as he has no wife right now. Dangote, as right now, does not have a wife. You know what? We don't hear much about it because he's a male. If he's female, we say, now money they pursue now. She couldn't keep her marriage. And she would always be talked that if it's a woman. There will always be that comma in the story. But that good, there's no comma. Nobody even, I didn't even know, I was surprised the day I found out that this man is not married. I was surprised. I only found out when they were spreading rumor that he had a girlfriend or whatever, the girl took a picture of him. And I thought he was being unfaithful. Was when I read, I said, this man is not, he actually, he actually, he's actually not married. I wanted to bring it up as a topic, you know, for us to address the area of making it look like a woman is a nobody. No matter what she achieves in life, no matter all the things she has done in society, no matter her contribution to society, she's seen as a nobody simply because she has not attached herself to a man and be called a married woman. Or she has not, she doesn't have children. We can slowly begin to clean up this mentality to prevent the situation where a lot of girls are jumping into marriage. Because our society has made it look like if a girl is not married, no matter what else she may have achieved in life, she's a nobody simply because she's not married. I really hope that slowly we can begin to change that mentality. Am I saying marriage is not a good thing? That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that it shouldn't be all that a woman is. A woman can actually choose not to be married. Absolutely nothing wrong with that. That is my opinion. And as always, whatever your opinions are, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And with that, I'm going to say thank you for watching. Until the next time, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.